So here let's uh, consider the reaction of the neutralization of stomach acid with antacid tablets, okay? So um, stomach acid is essentially this molecule HCl, okay? And when we're doing acid-base reactions, you want to put that aqueous, so you'll remember to break that up into its ions, okay? And the antacid tablet we're using is effectively aluminum hydroxide. And we'll just say um, aqueous as well. Um, these are going to react. This is a neutralization reaction, uh, also a double displacement reaction, um, to form two molecules. Okay. Remember, a neutralization reaction will form water, right, and a salt. Do you remember that? You guys remember water and a salt. So those two molecules are going to be water as a liquid, right? Plus a salt. What salt is it going to be? Chloride. Yeah, aluminum chloride. So what's the formula for aluminum chloride? AlCl3, right? And that's going to be, in this case, a. So is this equation balanced? No. So we got to balance it first, okay? So we've got three hydroxides here. So they're going to have to have three protons to react with to make three water molecules, okay? So this is the only thing that's got protons on it, okay? So put a three there and a three here. And now we've got three H's, three OH's, that's going to make three waters, right? We've got three CL's and one AL, that's going to be, make one ACL3. Is that okay with everybody? Okay, so that's called the molecular equation, right? So this is what happens when you take antacid. This is the molecular equation. Okay. The total ionic equation is going to take everything that has AQ behind it and break it apart, right? Into its constituent ions. So remember this coefficient um, is associated with both the H and the CL. Okay, so we're going to have 3H plus aqueous. And remember, if it's an ion, it's dissolved into water. Okay? And this one. 3Cl minus aqueous plus Al, what's the charge? 3 plus, good job, aqueous plus what? How many? 3 what? OH, that's it? Minus, right? Aqueous, very good. This OH minus is called the hydroxide ion. Okay? It's one of the polyatomics that you need to know. That you do know I mean. Okay, by now I'll show you. Um, do we break this thing up? No. Okay. Water is a stable molecule, it doesn't want to be broken up. Not to mention that it's got that L behind it, so it kind of gives us a clue. Plus, breaking up? Yes. AL. Al3 plus aqueous plus 3 Cl minus aqueous. Okay. So this is called the net or the, the net ionic equation or the total ionic equation. Sorry. So let's do the net ionic equation. Net ionic equation. You just cancel out everything that's on both sides, right? So. H plus on both sides? No. 3 Cl minus on both sides? Yes. Cancel, cancel. And Al3 plus aqueous on both sides? Yes. Cancel, cancel. So the net, 3 H plus aqueous plus 3 OH minus. 
minus a nucleus goes to 3H2O liquid, but 3, 3, 3, we're going to reduce that coefficient to 1, 1, 1. So the net ionic equation is H plus aqueous plus OH minus aqueous goes to H2O liquid. Okay, so that's the net ionic. The cool thing about acid base reactions is that's always the net ionic equation. Okay? Always the net ionic equation. So, got an acid base reaction, write that first, you know, if it helps you out. Okay? That's always, always the net ionic equation. Is everybody okay with this? What are the spectator ions? I guess we should write that too. Al3 plus, right? And see all minus expected your eye. Okay. Any questions? Okay, good. Neutralization reaction. <laughs>